And I have a very special guest with me this morning to talk about a very special event that's happening tomorrow during the University of Detroit Mercy's home basketball game. They're re retiring the jersey of Titan great and NBA veteran Earl the, the Twirl Curitan. Joining me in studio, good to see you. Good nice seeing you too. And thanks for being here with right. us very early this morning. Oh, this yeah, is a true. huge honor. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, you know, growing up here in Detroit, you know, you dream about getting your jersey retired somewhere, but it's, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm thrilled about it. You know, I got a lot of people coming back. A lot of former players are going to be there. And uh, it's pretty much the group that I'm going up with, though. You know, yeah. Stacey Haywood, Dave DeBusher, Cherry Durai, John Long. You know, all, all those guys are already hanging from the raft of Rashad Phillips. So, uh, for me, it's a real honor to have an opportunity to be a, in a group like that. Absolutely. Uh, what years did you play for U of D? 77 to 79. You're making me tell how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't that old. Not that old. Uh, but we certainly enjoy having you back here. And, and mm -hmm. this is such a big honor. From what I understand, I'm going to be there tomorrow to commemorate uh, this incredible honor. But uh, the first 250 people get something special, right? Yeah, they were giving away our replica jersey from the times when we played as uh, first 250 people to be able to receive that. I'm having a community youth night that night also. So oh, okay. uh, I do a lot of work in the community. So yes, I wanted all the kids with PAL and everybody to come down and support it. And uh, having you there and, you know, part of Channel 4 there would be, you know, be great. Randy Henry was my grad assistant when yeah. I was in college. So I definitely want him right there with me. Uh, because he remember those days real well. Our 5 a.m. director, uh, producer, excuse me, <laughs> went to school with you at one point. I wonder if he's going to be there. He claims he was a basketball player as well. He claims to have dunked on Earl Curitan back in the day. I've been hearing this rumor, you know, I'm, I'm, he, he's going to make me come out of retirement. Any truth you know, to that? Yeah, well, I don't remember that. I mean, if you get dunked on, you know, they told me he's got all these stories of how he did it and how mm -hmm. I was ducking and everything. So, you know, he may make me come out and find out is that true or not. Uh, <laughs> clearly. Well, let's just say this. They're not retiring his jersey tomorrow night. No <laughs> Shade, just all facts. <laughs> uh, very cool, and we're excited to have you here. Any, any, we want to talk about the Pistons real quick because we know all the great work you do for them. All Let's right. talk about D Rose and the rumors that we're hearing. Well, you know, a trade deadline, you hear him. It was Andre first, you know, it was bubbling about him. Right. You know, and, uh, you know, D Rose is attracted to a lot of teams, salary wise, you know, the Lakers, and he could be a team that could, you know, help another team. So teams are definitely looking at him, but we oh. want to try to keep him here in Detroit. We don't want yeah, D Rose going anywhere. All right. Earl Curitan, thank you so much. <laughs> 7 a.m. Thursday, Callahan Hall. Guys, we'll send it back to you. Oh, a big congratulations to Earl Kierton, and you look absolutely timeless, uh, never looking better, and definitely a great honor. So we are so proud and happy for you and all that you do in the community um, through the Pistons and so much more. Congratulations, Earl.